everybody, Aaron Robbins here with another Magic of Voxels tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to import a PNG into Magic of Voxels. It's pretty simple. We're going to use Photoshop, but you can use whatever um, photo editing software you have. First thing I want to show you is this paw print for two reasons. First, it is a big, bigger than 126 pixels by 126 pixels. It is... Um, 250 by 150. In a Magic of Voxel, your workspace, your 3D workspace, is restricted to 126 pixels. So you can see if we save this out, also noted that this little paw toe here is almost transparent. If we go ahead and import this into Magic of Voxel using File and then Import, and we select that paw print right here, notice that it gets cut off because you are restricted to 126 by 126. You can try to make this bigger by typing in 150 and that's what you're restricted to. So it got cut off. And the other thing to notice is that transparent pixels get read as opaque. They're voxels. So if there's any data in the pixel at all, even if it's only like one or two percent, you know, of, you know, of transparency, it'll still get read and come in solid. So that's just the only thing to be aware of. So now back in Photoshop, we're going to go ahead and go to a document that is exactly uh, 126 by 126 pixels, which this gives us in Magic Voxel gives us probably our X and our Z workspace. Uh, in other 3D programs, you would consider this X and then Y being up. But in Magic Voxel, X is probably across here and Z is pointing up into the air. Um, so we just have a little pixel. You know what? She needs some ground to stand on. So I'm going to go to this uh, document of a now defunct uh, iPhone adventure game I was working on. And I'll copy the grass layer and put it there and put that layer behind this girl here so that she's standing on it and she is saying magic of voxel 9 it should be 0 0.971 was released because it was this week um, so we're going to do a tutorial video on some of the new features i think everything's spelled correctly in there the font i'm using is a font from defont it's the 5 by 5 font and it works really well um, for voxel art Magic of Voxel spelled that wrong, so that would be kind of embarrassing. Well, let's fix that. So you can get that on Defont for uh, free. It works really good at the eight point setting. The only other thing you sometimes want to be aware of is that the uh, sort of Christmas crispness setting here. I don't know what this is called. Um, see how there's now like anti-aliasing around here, that's going to get read by Magic of Voxel and not look great when it comes in. So you want to set that to none over here so you get just the outline or just the actual part of the font. So we're going to go ahead and save that out. And we will save that to our desktop. And we don't want to save it as a PSD because that won't work. So we will go ahead and export it. Uh, you might have save for web. You can save it as a PNG or the new quick export as PNG that came out in CC 2015 Photoshop. And we'll just call it uh, 97. Well, I should have called it 97.1.1, but that's okay. And then we'll just go ahead and go to file. A import will overwrite your scene. We'll bring that in there. And there it came in and is using this palette over here um, to sample those colors. You can see the colors did not come out exactly perfect. Um, it's 100 by 93 is what my Im image ended up being in uh, Photoshop and just one pixel of depth. So the first depth. So the first thing you want to do if you want to start adding depth to this is to change this to something like five or an odd number. And the reason why you want to use an odd number is so that there is an even number of spaces um, in front of and behind um, your model. And then you can just start using the face brush and the attach. Make sure you sample the color first by using uh, the pixel color voxel eyedropper tool here. So figure out what that color is and then you can use attach and start bringing um, it out. And you could also turn on mirroring so that it pulled out evenly. Or you could just turn on surface so that it selected the color automatically for you. And that's pretty much how you work with PNGs in Magic of Voxel. If you found that at all helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, watch more Magic of Voxel and other uh, tutorials coming soon. Thanks for watching.